Hi everybody, welcome to the pineapples class. I guess that's what we're gonna call this. And um, today, the first day, what we wanna do is just get a pineapple in front of our eyeballs and notice some observations about it. You don't have to run out and buy a pineapple. You could go um, do some research, find yourself some photos. Um, this one is very green, but I kind of like that. I would say um, research a few different photos and you definitely want to have some photos of pineapples or an actual pineapple in front of you to do these uh, uh, an observation study. And so I'm going to draw this out. I did one already and it was too light so I decided to do this over again. I'm going to use a marker this time and walk you through what I what I did. I've got some drawing materials here, and this is a sheet of tag board, which is basically just kind of a thick drawing paper. It's like it's it's um it's like a cover stock. I bought this on Amazon. It's is a 12 by 18 inch sheet. I really do like these. I've even done watercolor on them. And then I've got myself some um, pencils. This is my bag of drawing supplies. You could use a ballpoint pen, pencil, marker, whatever you like. And the whole purpose of this exercise is really just to familiarize ourselves with a pineapple and decide how we're going to draw it. And let yourself explore some different, um, some different design ideas that you might use to represent these interesting shapes and your leaves. So um, to start off with, you wanna, um, maybe explore some options like this of how you would do your pineapple and on what you're going to do it on. This class, we're going to do a variety of pineapples. I probably, I'm hoping to do some glass painting, um, maybe another um, um, acrylic on canvas painting, maybe some glass and resin. Who knows? We'll, we'll see where it leads us. But, um, I was planning um, this out here and I thought, well, if I've got an eight by 10, maybe I would make the pineapple fit like that. Or maybe I wanna do my pineapple like this where the crown is going off the top. Or maybe I want to fit the whole pineapple in on my eight by 10 canvas. Or, you know, you could do this in watercolor too. I'm probably gonna do a, a watercolor also. So um, if you've got a tall, sheet of paper or canvas, you could certainly do it like this, which is what I'm going to do today. Or here's a square option where maybe we're just going to show the top of the pineapple with the leaves going off the top of the of the square. So, you know, we're going to explore all these different options in this class and do different versions of pineapples. That's the whole idea. So it's just, we're just going to go pineapple crazy. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll just keep this sheet and I'll draw over it so you can you can see what I did. Um, this particular thing is a, I really like this. It's a, I think it's a Kuretake um, marker or you could certainly use charcoal, you know, ballpoint pen, anything at all that you want to use. I'm going to use, um, I think I'll use a Sharpie just so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's pretend I don't have anything drawn here. What you're going to do is just observe your pineapple. You know, maybe you want to start out with some sketch lines to sketch in the shape of the pineapple, which is what I did first. And I knew that I wanted to have all the leaves. I, and I bought this pineapple with the tall leaves. I really liked that. A lot of pineapples, the leaves only come up this high, but I wanted I wanted a big tall crown on mine. So I drew some sketch lines like this and I started drawing these leaves and I noticed that towards the bottom here, the leaves are curved and they're shorter. And then as we get up here, they start to get longer and kind of, um, they don't curve as much. And these leaves up here are almost straight. So that's what I did when I drew this. Um, so let's go ahead and draw that in with our marker, right? Maybe I'll use this. And some of them have um, an under, like a turned edge. 
and that was fine with me. I just I just included that in there. I didn't mind seeing that. This one came over. Uh, I like that. So, you know, that's the whole thing about this. You get to decide exactly how this pineapple looks. You get to make all of those decisions. And, you know, the nice thing about doing the sketch this way is if you realize that you don't like the way you did something, it's better to kind of figure that out now. This is a lot of leaves. I might decide later that I don't want to have to draw this many leaves. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll have one going off the top too. Really tall crown. Okay, so that's that's that. And um, the other thing I noticed when I looked at these leaves is that the the top side of them is a dark green, and the underside of them has like a powdery look to them. So I might use that later on when I'm when I'm painting this or illustrating this, we'll see. Um, okay, so now we're gonna figure out how, what, how we're gonna represent this weirdness, this, this interesting stuff that's going on in there. They almost look like sailboats, you know, with the mast in the middle. And so when I was looking at it, um, you know, there's all these different ways that I've seen pineapples done. Sometimes I've seen, um, you know, like, let's say this is a pineapple. I've seen people do this, you know, where they do that. And that's, that's nice. Um, I've also seen them, um, you know, where they do, I really like this. It's kind of a scallop, like um, fish scales. And I think that's what I'm going to use. I suppose they could be turned the other way if you want. So that's, that's what I'm going to use on mine, but you could certainly do, um, who knows, any number of things. You could put sketch lines um, for how you want to do that if you want. You could make them octagons, I suppose, if you wanted to, you know. That might be too complicated. <laughs> and then they've got this interesting... Thing like that maybe you want to do something like that I don't know you know that's the whole idea that's what this was I was kind of noticing this it's, it's a very weird shape it's almost like a, a a weird blob and there's little marks here so maybe that's the shape that we that you would repeat in here you know so anyway I put some sketch lines you know of the diagonal and then I just started putting um, my scallops on here. And, and I think that's what I'm gonna go with at least on this design. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole thing, but that's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna put that center, you know, pokey thing coming out. You know, and maybe maybe when I do this for real, actually, it's funny, these things kind of stick out on the side, I'm noticing. So maybe I'm gonna do that when I do this. But anyway, this center thing, it, Hmm. It kind of goes, so maybe I'll do them all like that. Yep, 
you know, something like that. And that's going to repeat across the whole thing. But you are going to figure out how you want to do yours. And who knows, maybe you'll decide that you want to have, um, um, you know, lines on your leaves or something like that. You know, maybe you just want to do yours as a, a Zentangle type thing. You know, if you don't know what Zentangle are, you could Google that. It's like a little, like a pattern kind of thing. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe you want to put gold metallic on yours in some places. Or um, maybe do some, oh, sorry, my air conditioner is kicking on. Maybe you want to do some scrapbook papers, you know. Who knows? There's just endless possibilities. But the idea is to have fun. Um, actually, what I just thought of, what I could do is I could have, I could have these spikes switch the direction that they're going. You know, <laughs> kind of interesting. So, totally fun. Um, go ahead and experiment with yours. Um, figure out how you want to do, maybe figure out a few different ways of drawing the pineapple and um, what you're inspired to paint or draw to make your particular pineapple. And I'll see you on the next video.